Hello. I want to create an email that contains a list of all the files in a SharePoint document library that have been updated within the last 24 hours. Shall I do it with Power Automate? Trust me, I have received this question so many times, either on LinkedIn, on Udemy questions, direct messages, you name it. So finally, I decided to put this video together and close this chapter once and for all, because if I get so many questions, probably lots of people are looking for that. The good or bad news is that I'm not going to use Power Automate Flow. SharePoint has a built-in feature called Alert. If you are familiar with alerts, this video is not for you. I put a link right there, probably has better content for you to spend your time with than this video. Otherwise, if you're not familiar with alerts, let's take a look at it and see that for a task like this, you don't need Power Automate at all. Let's see how we can do it. I hope you'll enjoy this video. All right, this is the SharePoint list that I have. It's just a built-in documents, document library inside a SharePoint site called YouTube demo, it doesn't really matter. So in this library, if I click on these three dots here, I have something called alert me and I have manage my alerts. Before I even start, I click on manage my alerts to see if there are any alerts set up for this library and I don't see anything. There is no alert here. And keep that in mind that an alert has a title. You can add the alert right from here or I can go back to that list and I can click on this drop down and I click on alert me. And this alert me specifically goes through this library. First, it says alert title. Alert title at the moment is a document library name. It's a great idea to change it. So I would say daily updates by other users. Great. I would say send me an email. You can also send SMS, but for this site, it's not set up. So, so I just keep it where it is and I'm happy with the email alert. Now it says change type. Do you want to see all the changes or if there are new items added, existing items are modified or items are deleted? Hmm, okay, give me all the changes. Send me the alert about any changes. When someone else changes a document, this is what I want. Or you may take it to the next level. You say, you know what? I want to find out who dares to change the documents that I have updated. Well, at the moment, this is not the time for it, but you can try it yourself. At the moment, I am the only user, so I want to see anything that changes just for the sake of demo, but you got the point. If I want to monitor the changes by other users, I can simply pick someone else changes a document. Anyway, any changes for now. I also want to say send notification immediately. I have the daily option. I have the weekly option. If I pick weekly, I can say on which day of the week it should be sent out. If I say daily, I can pick the time that the email should go out. I can say send it to me, for example, 3 a.m. in the morning. It doesn't matter at the moment, but the main thing is that just make sure you are on the right time zone. Anyway, at the moment, for the first part of the demo, I want to click on the send notification immediately so that we can see the results in my mailbox and see what we get out of it. This option sends you only one email. So as soon as an item is updated, it sends you an email telling you that, hey, this file has been updated. All right, I click on OK, and the alert is created. To verify that the alert is created, you can always go to your mailbox right after you create an alert. Let me open Outlook. And this is the email that I got. It says it has successfully created an alert called daily updates for other users. At the moment, we know it doesn't monitor the other users, but just for the sake of naming it and testing it, it's fine. I go back here and I make some changes in one of the files. I just say, I want to update this file and say, these are changes from Ali Reza. I just press enter and I just make it bold. And it says saved. So we are good to close this guy. Let's go back to our mailbox and see what we got. It may take a minute or two, but regardless, you will get it. Let me just refresh it. 
Bingo. We got the email. If I click on it, it tells me that the document has been changed and it gives you exactly the name of the document, 01 document. If you click on it, it takes you directly to the file. Not only that, if you say, oh, you know what? This is the day that I got sick of all those alerts. You can click on modify my alert setting and it changes the things that we did inside SharePoint. Great. So let me go back inside SharePoint again. And now you want to update that alert. And that's where things become important. If I click on this one, if I click on alert me, it creates a new alert. While I want to modify the alert that I created, I click on manage my alerts. I pick the alert that I created before. It's daily update by other users. It's not supposed to be immediately. I can scroll down and I can say, send me a daily summary. Send it to me at 7 a.m., which is fine. That's pretty much it. I just accept everything. So logically, this one should send me a list of anything that someone else has updated, which I didn't pick at the moment just for the sake of testing, but original request was the list of files that have been updated by someone else that the alert beautifully does that. I can click on this OK, and then I can go back to my list of documents. And now anything that I change as of today, I can click on Open in Browser. Let's say I add a little bit of more changes here, more changes, and I wait for that to save. It says saved. Great, I can close this one. Maybe I want to change another file like 03 so that we have more than one file. And there we go. And some more changes. And I wait for that to be saved. Done. I can close this guy as well. Now, if I go to my mailbox, obviously I'm not going to wait till tomorrow to get an update, but if I have a time machine and I travel to tomorrow morning, I will get an email like this. Actually, I didn't travel it to the future, but this is the email that I generated before I record this video to show you a sample of the email that you will get on the next day. And that was it. Trust me, you don't need Power Automate to do everything for you. There are some built-in features inside SharePoint that have been there since SharePoint 2003. Yes, it's almost two decades that this feature is there and does the job for us. So no surprise, I get so many questions about something that the requirement was there for a long time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know where the like button is. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.